I think I first became a lawyer because I realized that there are some people in our society that hold very little power, and there's other organizations in our society that hold a lot of power, and that there's really only one way to balance out the scale of power there, and that's through the justice system. So I wasn't always in this role. I started out my career as a defense lawyer and actually was an equity partner at a large defense firm before joining this law firm. I made the switch because I got tired of spending every day of my life to try to minimize value for people who really deserved compensation. And now that I'm on this side, I get to go into work every day knowing that I'm fighting for the little guy against the big company and that the outcome of the case can completely change the trajectory of their life. For me, there's nothing else in the world like sitting at the council table waiting for the jury to return a verdict. That's the moment of truth. You know whether all of the hard work that you put into your client's case paid off or whether the jury saw it a different way. When I first think of Alan Holcomb, the first thing that comes to mind is details. Because Alan is meticulous, he is on top of everything in our cases. And I'm saying that when you get an email from Alan about a case, it's not a short email, like maybe I would send. It's like this. My most memorable case is a case that I tried to verdict in San Diego, California a number of years ago. It involved an individual who had been exposed to a toxic substance, and he needed not only one transplant, but the expert evidence showed that in his future, if he was going to survive over 10 years, he was probably going to need a second lung transplant. And the jury deliberated for two days, uh, and it came back with a uh, verdict in our favor. I think the most important thing is self-awareness. Knowing as a lawyer, you may be a really good lawyer in one area of the law, but you may not have as much experience in the other area of the law. And that when you fight a big insurance company, when you fight a big company, they're gonna go hire the best, most specialized lawyers and experts that you can. So it's important to have self-awareness and get a team, assemble a team to help you where, where you can and where it's necessary.